The A-10 Warthog is one of the most remarkable aircraft in the US Air Force, showcasing its exceptional engineering from the Cold War era. Designed with precision, it was a crucial part of preparedness during war and tense times. This aircraft had a significant role in the airland strategy, ready to take on enemy tanks if tensions escalated. The A-10 had a specific mission to provide close air support, it needed to be close to enemy lines to provoke their attention, while staying close enough to friendly forces to avoid causing unintended damage. Achieving this required exceptional engineering, and now we'll take a journey into the incredible engineering of the A-10 Warthog. The A-10 Warthog is equipped with a remarkable cannon, the GAU 8A Avenger. This 30mm rotary cannon is unmatched among aircraft armaments. It fires at an astonishing rate, shooting up to 4,200 rounds per minute at a muzzle velocity of 1,070 meters every second. The cannon itself weighs around 1,800 kilograms, taking up a substantial part of the aircraft's nose. Its magazine can hold up to 1,174 rounds of high-explosive incendiary or armor-piercing depleted uranium ammunition capable of piercing 69 millimeters of steel from a distance of 500 meters. This cannon operates with seven rotating barrels, each driven by an external hydraulic motor, spinning at an incredible 3,900 revolutions per minute, ensuring a continuous stream of firepower. It draws ammunition from two drum magazines located on each side of the cannon, using a linkless feed system to minimize jamming and reduce weight. The cannon also features a recoil mechanism that absorbs about 80% of the recoil force, making it manageable for the aircraft. A fire control system, including a heads-up display, a laser rangefinder, and a computer expertly controls this extraordinary cannon. It calculates the perfect firing solution by considering factors like target range, speed, direction, as well as the aircraft's altitude attitude, and airspeed. It also accounts for external factors such as gravity, wind, and atmospheric conditions. The pilot has the flexibility to choose from two fire modes, a low rate of 2100 rounds per minute or a high rate of 4200 rounds per minute. The pilot can also adjust the burst length from a single shot to an impressive 100 rounds. The GAU 8A Avenger cannon is a powerful weapon effective against both armored and softer targets. It can hit ground targets up to 1,200 meters away and aerial targets up to 6,000 meters. It's a cost-effective choice compared to missiles or bombs and is easy to maintain, but it does have downsides. It's heavy and bulky, which affects the aircraft's speed and maneuverability. It also causes drag and vibrations that impact the aircraft's stability. The cannon has a limited range and ammo capacity, so it needs frequent resupplying. Its nose and smoke make the aircraft more visible and audible to enemies, compromising its stealth. The A-10 Warthog relies heavily on two hydraulic systems for its flight controls, landing gear, brakes, and the GAU 8A Avenger cannon. These systems use pressurized fluid for power, offering advantages in terms of strength, responsiveness, and efficiency. The A-10 Warthog has two separate hydraulic systems known as System A and System B. System A gets its power from a pump on the left engine, while System B uses a pump on the right engine. Each system has an accumulator to store pressurized fluids for emergencies. They also contain a series of valves to control the flow of fluid to different parts. Actuators, like pistons or cylinders, convert hydraulic pressure into mechanical motion. The hydraulic systems are designed with redundancy and resilience in mind. They can work independently or together, adapting to various situations. If one system fails or gets damaged, the other can take over its duties. In rare cases where both hydraulic systems fail, the pilot can use manual reversion. This backup mechanical system allows the pilot to control flight surfaces using cables and pulleys, bypassing the need for hydraulics entirely. The hydraulic systems of the A-10 Warthog have proven their mettle amid battle. They show impressive flexibility, enduring damage from enemy fire or shrapnel without fail. Even when dealing with extreme temperatures and pressures, they maintain their effectiveness. These hydraulic systems have been a lifeline for many pilots facing issues with their aircraft's flight controls, landing gear, brakes, and the formidable GAU 8A Avenger cannon. The A-10 Warthog is renowned for its enduring protection, thanks to its armor that shields vital components from enemy fire and shrapnel. 
Armor designed to absorb or deflect energy from projectiles or explosions comes in various forms, from metal and ceramic to composite materials and fabric. At the core of the A-10's defense is its armor, mainly made from titanium alloy, a material known for its strength and lightweight properties, as well as its resistance to corrosion and high temperatures. This titanium alloy creates a protective bathtub around the cockpit, offering the pilot direct hit protection. This robust barrier is approximately 3.8 centimeters thick and weighs about 450 kilograms. Additionally, the cockpit is surrounded by ballistic glass, a transparent material that resists shattering and penetration, giving the pilot a 360-degree view. The aircraft's armor also extends to safeguard other important parts, including engines, fuel tanks, control cables, and hydraulic lines. The engines are strategically placed high and toward the back of the fuselage, away from enemy fire. The self-sealing fuel tanks can seal holes or leaks caused by bullets or fragments, and they have foam fillers to reduce the risk of fire or explosion. Moreover, the control cables and hydraulic lines are built to withstand small caliber rounds or shrapnel without breaking or leaking. The A-10 Warthog's armor is an example of effective protection keeping both the aircraft and the pilot safe. Several stories confirm its remarkable capabilities. In 1991, during the Gulf War, Captain Kim Campbell's A-10 Warthog was hit by a surface-to-air missile, damaging the right engine, the right wing, and the horizontal stabilizer. Campbell skillfully used manual reversion to guide the aircraft back to base and make a safe landing. In 2003, during the Iraq War, Major James Ewald's A-10 Warthog was hit by an anti-aircraft artillery shell, which pierced the left wing and started a fire. Ewald's quick use of the fire suppression system put out the flames, allowing him to return to base with minimal damage. In the history of the A-10 Warthog, stories of resilience and cleverness kept emerging. In a remarkable event during a training exercise in Arizona in 2017, Captain Brett DeVries faced a malfunctioning cannon round that suddenly cut a part of the right wing and damaged the landing gear. With great skill and bravery, DeVries managed to land the injured aircraft on a dry lake bed without using the landing gear or the canopy. The A-10 Warthog improves its ability to survive with various features, including an ejection seat that allows the pilot to escape in emergencies. This seat has a parachute, a survival kit, and a radio beacon to ensure the pilot's safety and rescue in dire situations. It also has an emergency power unit located on the tail of the aircraft, which provides essential backup electrical power in case of engine failure or damage. This small gas turbine engine proves to be a vital lifeline in such situations. There is also a backup instrument panel on the right side of the cockpit, safeguarding critical flight information in case the main instruments fail or get damaged. This panel includes essential instruments like an altimeter, an airspeed indicator, a compass, and an altitude indicator. The A-10 Warthog knows how to be stealthy, using strategies to lower its infrared signature, which helps it avoid detection by heat-seeking missiles and sensors. Infrared signature measures the amount of heat radiation an object emits because of its temperature or chemical makeup. While it can't be seen by the human eye, devices like infrared cameras or heat-seeking missiles can pick it up. To reduce its infrared signature, the A-10 Warthog does a few things. It places its engine high and towards the back of the fuselage, which reduces the exposure of hot exhaust gases to the ground or the air around it. This design minimizes the risk of being detected from below. The aircraft also uses straight exhaust nozzles instead of afterburners. Afterburners can boost thrust and speed, but also increased fuel consumption and infrared emissions. Straight exhaust nozzles are simpler, operate at lower temperatures, and decrease the infrared signature, although they sacrifice a bit of thrust and speed. The A-10 Warthog uses infrared suppressors on its exhausts. These devices mix exhaust gases with cold air or water to lower their temperature and intensity. In this way, they reduce the aircraft's infrared signature effectively. There are two types of suppressors, passive ones that draw in cold air through vents or slots, and active ones that use pumps or injectors to add cold water to the exhaust stream. Both methods enhance the aircraft's ability to operate covertly. The A-10 Warthog employs a unique approach to reduce its infrared signature, special paint that can either absorb or reflect heat. This paint applied to the aircraft's surface not only changes its color, but also plays a vital role in controlling the amount of heat it gives off or reflects. Some paints are made to absorb heat, 
and then release it through convection or conduction while others are meant to reflect heat and keep it from reaching the surface. However, it's important to understand that the A10 Warthog's method for reducing its infrared signature, while effective, isn't foolproof. Its success depends on various factors including weather, terrain, altitude, angle, distance, and the use of countermeasures. Weather conditions like humidity, cloud cover, or precipitation can influence how much heat the atmosphere absorbs or reflects. Terrain features like hills, mountains, trees, or buildings can affect how heat is reflected or blocked. The aircraft's altitude, approach angle, and distance from sensors or missiles can change how much heat is detected. Countermeasures like flares, chaff, or jamming can also impact how heat is confused or diverted. Successfully using the A-10 Warthog's infrared signature reduction strategy requires the pilot to be highly aware and skilled. The pilot needs to make smart choices about the best route, speed, and altitude to avoid being detected. Using countermeasures wisely is essential to avoid waste and unnecessary attention. The pilot must be ready to avoid or engage incoming threats with agility and precision. The A-10 Warthog, despite being older and slower compared to modern jets, remains a crucial asset today. Its enduring importance comes from its exceptional abilities in close air support missions, where it excels in performance, adaptability, and cost-effectiveness. This remarkable aircraft can work effectively in various weather conditions and terrains and against complex threats. It can carry a variety of weapons and payloads, making it a valuable tool in supporting and protecting ground troops and allies. The A-10 Warthog is more than just an aircraft. It's a resilient powerhouse capable of enduring significant damage and coming back to keep fighting. It's achieved legendary status, earning respect from both friends and foes. When you think about the most remarkable feature of the A-10 Warthog, it's tough to pick just one, as its combination of attributes and consistent performance truly sets it apart. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, click on the screen to watch other videos like this one. What stands out the most to you about this iconic aircraft?